Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Greenwood and welcome to our Grade 2 English lesson today. It's brought to you by Worksheet Cloud and if you have any questions after the lesson, please feel free to send us an email. The email address is grade2 at worksheetcloud.com. So are you ready for your lesson? Here we go. To begin with, let's start off with a bit of revision. I know that you were learning what verbs are. A verb is a doing word. Well done. Or sometimes we say an action word like jump, hop, swim, write, all the things that you can do. Then I know that you learned about nouns. And what is a noun? A noun is a thing. That's right. Everything that you can see around you is a noun. Wall, pillow, lamp, broom, things like apple, desk, window. And here's a little trick for you. If you can put a or the in front of it, sometimes an, then you will know if it is a noun. A desk, a window, the desk, the window, an apple. How clever is that? That's a trick for all of you to remember. And then you also learned about collective nouns. Now a collective noun is a group of nouns, like a flock of sheep. And my favorite one, a caravan of camels. Doesn't that sound wonderful? A caravan of camels was walking through the desert. I know that you've also been doing some of the phonic sounds. The A and the R together make that pirate sound that went R. Quite correct. And let's sound out these words. Shark, shark, b ark, bark. Well done. You also did the R, W, ow sound. Almost like it's very sore. Ow. And let's sound out these words. Ow. Ow, crown, crown, crowd, crowd. Well done, everybody. I can hear that you remember these sounds. Well done. Now, I'm going to show you something very interesting that I do in class with my children. And it helps them to remember when they are writing sentences, what to start with, what to end with. So, we look at a robot. A robot is red, orange, and green. And all the full stops at the end of a word, or all the exclamation marks, or all the question marks, we always do in red. So they are all in red. And then every capital letter in our sentence or our story is in green. Whether it starts off the sentence, or whether it's a name in the middle of a sentence, because you know all names have capital letters. The word I has a capital letter because you are important. So when you write about yourself, you've got to make sure that you have a capital letter. Remember, days of the week start with a capital letter, as well as months of the year. Now today, I'm going to teach you about the orange punctuation mark. You could see the red was for the full stops at the end, the green was for the um, capital letters at the beginning, and now you're going to hear about something new that goes in the middle of a sentence. This is called a comma, and this is what a comma looks like. It's actually a full stop with a little tail. So it goes in exactly the same space as a full stop would go, but you remember it has the little tail going down. Now what is a comma? And why should we use commas? Let's try and find out. The comma, as we said before, is also one of our punctuation marks. So we had a full stop, exclamation mark, question mark, we had capital letters, and now we have commas. And a comma is used inside a sentence. A comma tells the reader 
when or where to pause in a sentence. Think about that. It tells the reader when or where to pause in a sentence, not stop, because remember the full stop taught us to stop at the end of a sentence. This is just a short little stop, a pause in certain places. The commas let you catch your breath when you are reading a sentence, because otherwise you would just read the sentences so fast that we wouldn't understand it. Commas help to make the meaning of a sentence clear. So it really helps us when we read it and when we listen to it. A comma is used to separate three or more names or items in a sentence. We're going to look at a few sentences in a bit and you're going to see how we use the commas to separate or to have a pause in certain places. We use commas to separate the words in a list. Now, we don't write Logan plays soccer and basketball and tennis and hockey. Because that sounds a little bit clumsy, doesn't it? Too many ands in that sentence. We also don't write Logan plays soccer, basketball, tennis and hockey. Mm, that sounds a bit too fast. But we do write Logan plays soccer, basketball, tennis and hockey. Did you see how there was a pause? Every time there was an orange comma. Let's read it again. Logan plays soccer, basketball, tennis and hockey. And that sounds way better than saying Logan plays soccer, basketball, tennis and hockey. Because that's a little bit confusing to listen to. Commas are placed after each word in the list, but not before the word and. Let's read that last line again, but not before the word and. So don't ever put a comma before the word and. Let's look at these sentences. My friends are Ashley, Megan and Sarah. There we've got three names in our list. Ashley, Megan and Sarah. And I said you're going to put a comma in a list of words or names and not before the word and. So, my friends are Ashley, Palmer, Megan, and Sarah. Let's look at the next one. My favorite foods are pizza, pasta, burgers, and chips. So, you will see there's a list of four things. Pizza, pasta, burgers, and chips. Pizza, comma, pasta, comma, burgers, and chips. Only two commas in that sentence. Number three. I like to eat bananas, apples, strawberries, and watermelon. So we've got a list of four fruits. Bananas, comma, apples, comma, strawberries. Is there a comma there? No, because the word and is there. So it's strawberries and watermelon. Number four. The dog is black, brown, white, and gray. Four colors. Black, comma, brown, comma, white. Is there a comma? No, because the word and is there. White and gray. Now let's see if you can fill in these missing commas. Dogs, cats and fish make good pets. So you've got a list of three animals. Dogs, cats and fish. Where would you put your comma? Think carefully. I'm going to show you the answers in a minute. Dogs, cats, and fish make good pets. Number two, the park has swings, a slide, and monkey bars. Would you put it in front of and? No. Where would you put the comma in the sentence? It only has one comma. Number three, my favorite colors are pink, blue, green, and red. There's a list of four colors. Where would you put the commas? After pink? After blue? After green? Oh, 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 oh dear, not after green. So you would have a comma after pink and blue. Quite correct. We'll see the answers now. Number four, we need our costumes, towels, caps, and goggles to swim at school. Four things. 
costumes, towels, caps and goggles to swim at school. Let's have a look at the answers. Dogs, cats and fish make good pets. Did you also only have one comma in that one? Well done. The park near my house has swings, comma, a slide and monkey bars. Also only has one comma. Number three, my favorite colors are pink, comma, blue, comma, green and purple. We need our costumes, comma, towels, comma, caps and goggles to swim at school. Oh, I hope that you got lots of these right. Let's have a look again at our robot. The red was for full stops and ending punctuation, like a full stop, an exclamation mark, or a question mark. Now the orange part, that is for the commas. So all our commas that we do can be in orange. And the capital letters are all in green. And now I want to just share a little poem with you about a comma. And this poem says, my name is Comma Man. I always have a plan. I stand between a list of names like Tammy, Sam and Dan. How sweet is that? Let's read it again. Let's read it. Read it with me, children. My name is Comma Man. I always have a plan. I stand between a list of names like Tammy, Sam and Dan. And how many commas are in this little poem? That's right, there's only one because there's a list of three names and it's after Tammy where you will see the comma. And is it after Sam? No, because we see the word and and that reminds us not to put a comma. So thank you children. I have loved being with you today and as I said in the beginning, if you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.